hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i show you how to install laravel auditing in laravel application this is the auditing package and provide the facility to understand the changes of your allocant in your application first of all when this package is useful when your application is large and lots of people manage your application and that time this package is very helpful if someone change anything by mistake if someone doing suspected activity that time this package is very helpful this package store each and every event into the database related to allocant and store new and old value so if anyone change by mistake you get old value easily and replace it with the new value so let's start installing this package in my this application and show you how this package is works this package have a well documentation and official site you can follow this documentation as well so let's get started and try to install this package using the composer require so let's copy this command and go to the terminal stop this server and fire the composer require on it laravel auditing as you see here this composer dependency is installed so let's take next step go to the documentation and you can see here next step is we need to specify this provider into the app.php so let's add into the app.config file into the provider section here and this package is also supported into the lumen if you want this package in lumen you can easily install and configurations given into the this documentation so you can follow it and use it next step is we need to publish the config file and need to fire this command for that so let's fire using the terminal and this audit.psp from the vendor is published inside the config directory as audit.php so let me open and explain a bit more about this file this is the config file and use this package with some default values you can change it based on your requirement first of all this is the auditing enable you can specify auditing enable variable into the dot env file and make it enable and disable anytime using this value i already added in this my env file if you want to enable then you can use directly true because by default this package specified true but if you want to disable then you specify it in dot env file and make it disable anytime and some guard related config also given here if you are using the different guard and you want to change you can easily change it here some resolver listed here user ip address user agent and url related when this resolver is needed if you customize this resolver and extend the package resolver that time you need to specify your customized resolver here so this package provide this facility as well you can customize and use it here this package detect this for event and stored into the database created updated deleted and restored 
these four event fire into the allocant that time this package trigger the event and store that event into the database you want to change you can change it remove any event for example you just want to detect the deleted event that time you can remove these three created updated and restored just you can trigger event when any record is delete from anywhere so this is the event list if you want to audit the strict mode you can make it true by default this package provide the false here is a timestamp created and updated it and deleted it this is threshold so you can specify limit it here as well driver by default using database you can change it if you want to change some driver related config also given here and this one is console when you run the seeders and migrations from the console and store the data into the database the time you want to store and trigger the event you can do it using these options you just need to make true by default pack is given false so this is the config and this config read by the package and use while the any event is fired also some configurations section given here you can follow it this documentation for change the any configurations now next step is we need to fire the migration command so we need to publish migration into the database directory using this command php artisan vendor colon publish and dash dash provider and specify the provider name with the tag migrations so create audit tables migration published inside the database directory let me show you so you get the idea you can add more column as well here in this migration before run this migration and some documentations given here so follow this documentation if you want to change the migrations and any type of the any field so this is very good now we need to fire this migrate command using the artisan so let's fire psp artisan migrate and run this migration so now create audit table created into the database so let's open the database and show you lpt demo is my database and you can see here audit table is created in my this table so i think everything is done but one more thing is remaining and do not forget this step model setup we need to set up these traits into the model if you want to just track one model you need to just into the one model for example i want to track the user tables activity i just need to add into the user model so let's configure this model let's open the model and configure it category dot php and let's add first use statement do not forget to add now we need to implement this auditable class so specify it here and now add this trait here so this model is set up let me create one category edit category delete so we can track this category inside the audit table so let's go to the 
form and open the CRUD you can see here let me remove one category and go to the database and refresh the audit table and see here the audit table type is category and user type is user model user id is 1 audit table id is 1 old value so you can get this value easily if any record deleted by mistake whole payload store in this old value i remove this record so nothing into the new value ip address and url also track here user agent browser and os and everything is record here and created and updated is also recorded and stored into the database so let's create one category first of all and save let's open table and you can see here new value store old value is empty because event is created event name is also recorded here deleted created which user is created so you can easily get the details here let's update one record so we can see it save and see here old value and new value both are captured here so any suspected activity happening in your application you can easily track it and this package is very helpful to track your any suspected activity in your application let me change the config file and show you one example go to the audit file and remove this created activity from here and try to create one category and check this table again go to the new and let me specify food save food is created but activity is not tracked in this table because i remove from the config file so this is very customizable and configurable package and very great you can easily check it now one more thing is how you can get this record so let me specify one route and create one example so you can get the idea return and let me specify category and get and here all the categories retrieve successfully with the JSON response now let me relation stuff here getting audits and you can see here all the record related stuff documented here this audits is a relationship and you can get record with this audits here give an example with one record I show you with multiple record just we need to specify this relationship inside the width and we can get save and just refresh and you can see here all the audit record come here with this original record come with the its record audits records 
come with this audits key and you can retry if you want to retry audits with one record you can follow this example given into the database so you can get audits with this record as well also if you want to find any audits you can specify id into the find so everything is done and this package is very helpful also some advanced level documentation given here for the migrations and resolvers drivers tags for the configurations so you can change it any resolver like this example given you can follow it thank you for watching a video please do not forget to subscribe my channel we will meet soon in next tutorial thank you